So far we have 14 letters that we've already write to the different offices, but none of them has taken any initiative. I joined National Youth Service back 2014 November and I completed my training 2018 February. I went through all uh, the NYS requirements, so I have my discharge certificate, NYS, and I also have my certificate for plant operator, and also my license from Yata College, NYS. We get this advertisement from uh, online, from friends. We were also called for, uh, by many people that why don't you go and uh, try your best over there in Ifasha. Personally, I have failed myself from Eldoret. Uh, I come over to Naifasha. Now, since we are only two people with disability, we have to carry our, up our hands to, to ask if our percentage is there, the 5% that the constitution requires. Then uh, they told us, wait a bit, let me go and ask our, their boss. Then uh, he came back and told us that you are allowed. And we showed them our, our requirements. Then they gave us a go ahead to continue the recruitment. After documentation, there were competition among the people within the county. Like me, I competed with my fellow colleagues from Wasingishu. I was position two from uh, Wasingishu County, and my colleague, he was position four from Kisi County. And uh, after the recruitment, well, I, I, since the, my colleague is a, is a person with ability to entertain the contact and to do some follow-up to find out who, who has been selected among us. We never had any call from them. So I had to go myself to KA to confirm what went wrong. We met the HR, the chief security manager, and the recruiting team that was in the field. After a meeting of three hours, they agreed that they are going to employ us because they were asked what, what, what made you to disqualify those people. The HR has an excuse that we never qualified. The chief security manager said that we are not in a position our our, our disability won't allow us. That is a sensitive docket that will not allow people like us to be to be in that position. We waited for almost a month, thinking that uh, at least now things are well. But the letter that came was that the circular came from pressure that the recruitment has been fr frozen and we will not be considered now and in, in future vacants when it arises. I was asking myself if such people like us who have gone national youth service and we've completed paramilitary training, we are being denied job. Over, the, uh, over disability. What of those who are there at home, those who are severe, how will they survive? How will they be discriminated if such people like us are discriminated? <laughs>